Nothing Memorial on the campus of Washington State University as fellow students grieve the loss of Tyler Helinski, an athlete who was a high school football star here in Southern California. Authorities say he was found dead yesterday after taking his own life. And CBS 2's Dave Lopez is live in Upland where he talked to his former assistant coach, Dave. Pat, this is one of those stories that borders on the unexplainable. How do you explain the fact that uh, just a short time ago at this football stadium behind me at Upland High School, a young star quarterback thrilled the crowd. He went on to uh, a scholarship, a full ride, and the future looked very bright. And then... All-time leader, and now Helinski's going to have his turn. And for Tyler Helinski, the 21-year-old redshirt sophomore quarterback at Washington State, his time had arrived. Helinski lobs it. Touchdown. He started for the Cougars in last month's Holiday Bowl because of an injury to the starting quarterback. And the job would be his next year. Yeah, we we're all shocked. We're still all trying to process it. The stunning news, Daryl Thomas said, still hasn't really sunk in. This 21-year-old quarterback who set all kinds of passing records at Upland High School was found dead at his Pullman apartment just off the campus of Washington State University. A rifle recovered next to his body and there was a suicide note and Pullman police are saying for now this is listed as a suicide. When you heard the news you said yeah, this can't be right. Exactly. And that's the most, when I, I talked to multiple people they said just can't believe it. It started with my older brother Kelly. Um, he played quarterback in Notre Dame High School. That's Tyler Helinski in a 2014 interview. He just transferred to Upland High School from Notre Dame in Sherman Oaks and he became a star. So there you go. And the question today that puzzles everyone who knows him or knows of his story. How could this be? Suicide is very complicated, and so I wish there was a kind of one-size-fits-all. Dr. Laura Bear is a nationally recognized suicide prevention expert. She told me that the second leading cause of death among the ages 12 to 24 in this country, suicide. There are a number of circumstances. Life is complicated for our children. Our kids have less protective factors. Um, oftentimes they have less resiliency skills. Oftentimes, she told me there are no signs. And for the family, the guilt could be crippling. We can't do the blame game um, because it, the end result is it doesn't change anything. How do we make sure that his friends and his closest relationships or those closest relationships are provided the support? One of his former quarterback coaches and other people who knew him said that as good a quarterback as he was, he was just that great a kid. He was everything you always wanted to have in a, in a teenage boy. He was kind, he was considerate, he was generous. He was just a well-rounded boy. Back to you in the studio. Well, for more information on suicide prevention and how to get help, including hotline numbers, you can go to our website, cbsla.com, and click Scene on TV.